What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another math puzzle. In this one, the question is as follows. Find the missing numbers 1 through 16 for each square so that every row, column, and diagonal have the same sum. So this is a super fun magic square question. Hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out. When you're ready, hit play, and I'll give you the explanation. So the first thing we want to do here is figure out what that sum is going to be that's going to be consistent throughout every row, column, and diagonal. And if you'll notice, every row, column, and diagonal, and when I say diagonal, I mean just the long diagonals, it's going to consist of four numbers. So the way to figure out what these sums are going to be is we're going to add up all the numbers 1 through 16 and divide by 4. So as we line all these up, now we can add them together first. 1 through 9 adds up to 45. And then here we're going to do it in little chunks. These three are going to add up to 33. These two are going to add up to 27. And these two are going to add up to 31. So now we add these together. 27 plus 33 is 60. Uh, 45 plus 31 is 76. And we add these together and we get a nice 136. 136 divided by 4. We can do that mentally by dividing by 2 two times. That's what I like to do. So 136 divided by 2 is 68. Divided by 2 again is 34. So 34 is the magic number. Now since we know everything has got to add up to 34 and we're using each number only once, we can cross off the numbers that are already in here. So now we know that these numbers are off the table. Let's plug and chug and see if we can figure out what the remaining spaces should be. I like to start with this row because we have three out of four numbers. So if I already know that 6 plus 13 is 19 plus 3 is 22, right? If we're trying to get to that magic number of 34, we need a remaining 12 right here. Now, the next place I'm going to look is this row right here with 3 and 9 because I know that 3 and 9 add up to 12. So to get to 34, I'm missing 22. So if we're trying to get up to 22 in two spots, I, I don't have many options, right? I could say 16 and 6, but 6 is gone. I could say 15 and 7. Those are possible viable options. I could also say 14 and 8. And after that, we don't have many options. So we're going to say it's one of those two. It's either 14 and 8 or 15 and 7. Another place that's worthwhile looking is these two inside spots because I already have 10 and 13, and those are adding up to 23. So to get to 34, I only need 11, right? So two spaces that are filled by 11. Obviously, these big dogs are out. But pretty much my only options are 7 and 4, right? There's no other remaining combination. So we know we've got 7, 4, 7, Four. Now, this is pretty interesting because I know for a fact seven's got to be one of these two spaces, meaning this is out, this is out. So now I know it's got to be seven, four, seven, four, and 14, eight, 14, eight. We'll figure out which number goes exactly where as we flesh more of this out as we go. Because I have these limited already, like so, I'm going to move 14, or excuse me, four, seven, 14, and eight. So now the remaining numbers we have for the remaining spots are one, five, 15 and 16. So looking at this first row, knowing that we already got six and 11, we're gonna need 17 more, right? 17 plus 17 is 34. Of the remaining values, the only thing that's gonna give me 17 is 16 and one. So we know that we got 16 or one here, 16 or one here. And of course that lets me cross those off. And then last but not least, we got 15 and five. And it makes total sense that they gotta go here and here because 15 and five add up to 20, 12 and two add up to 14. 20 plus 14 is again 34. So the first place I'm gonna look to make some choices is I'm gonna look at these values right here. The reason why is because we've already got nine and two down here that are adding up to 11, meaning that I need these two spots to add up to 23. The only possible way I can see that is with 16 and seven. So that means one is out here, four is out here. And if four is out here, we gotta have four here. If 16 is over here, we gotta have one here. Now, if I know that this is adding to 11, right? To get to 34, I need 23. Of the options listed below, 14 and five won't work, 14 and 15 won't work, but eight and 15 will do the job. So we've got eight and 15, and if I got eight here that means I gotta have 14 here if I have 15 here I gotta have five here so now here we have our final solution with all of the magic squares filled in and you can see any row column or long diagonal is gonna have that equivalent sum of that magic number 34 I hope you guys enjoyed this math puzzle and if you did please click that like button if you want to see more math puzzles on the regular make sure to click subscribe thank you guys so much for joining see you in the next video take it easy